Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Gaz, and I feel the need to say something. Uh, if you're thinking about seeing Cloverfield, uh, I'm, excuse me, 10 Cloverfield Lane, you probably should, but don't go in at all expecting Cloverfield 2 to see, because it's not that at all. It's, it's really not. What the just cut me off? It's really not. Like, it's so shocking how not it is. I mean, just, what? <laughs> like, okay, so the movie starts off with this girl. She's breaking up with her boyfriend, uh, I'm assuming. I mean, fiance, she leaves a ring and a key and blah, blah, blah. Well, she's driving off, leaving their place, and he's calling, hey, please come back. Well, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, I can't, blah, or whatever. And then, boom, just out of nowhere, she's in an accident. Car flips over, and she wakes up, and then John Goodman has her. And he's just like, the world ended. And she, you know, of course, being, you know, a realistic reaction is, no, <laughs> what do you mean? The world can't end. Uh, but no, but of course she's like, no, no, no. But, it, but he's like, yeah, it really ended. So, you know, the movie is too... I, I want to see, without being spoiler, spoiling anything, but, like, part of the movie is a, initially... A, it's initially about her trying to escape because, you know, as any person would think, uh, you know, the world didn't end. Like, how could that be? But, anyway... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, the movie is kind of boring. I mean, to me, a person who, after seeing the first trailer, uh, I, I went into a media blackout because I love the first Cloverfield and I couldn't wait to see, like, another perspective on this movie. Like, I couldn't wait. So, I avoided all trailers, all reviews. I put an extension on Chrome that would, like... <laughs> I put an extension on Chrome that would like block out all links, all videos on YouTube, everywhere on the web that had the word Cloverfield in it. And like literally my only, the only thing I saw about that movie was the initial very first reveal trailer. Now, if you were someone like me who was an idiot to do that, you will be disappointed because it is by no stretch a Cloverfield sequel. I mean, I don't want to get spoilery, but something happens in a movie to where it's like, maybe it could be, maybe, but not at all. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what this review is, mostly is. It's like, not at all. <laughs> it's, it's really not. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, if I could wipe my memory of Cloverfield and I watch this, uh, would I have a good time? Sure. I mean, it's a good mystery movie. Like, there's a, there's a lot of parts where it's like an on and off switch of trust. Like, I'm like, well, could this be? Or maybe it's not. Can I trust this person? Or maybe I can't. But then I can, but maybe I could. But maybe I shouldn't. Like... I, I, that's what I do love about this movie. There's so much tension in this movie to where you're not, you're not exactly sure... You're not exactly sure what's going to happen next and why. Like, it's a movie that raises a whole lot of questions, but thankfully answers all of them mostly towards the end. Um... So yeah, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Did I enjoy it? Sure. Would I watch it again? Probably not, but uh, would I recommend it? Sure. Just don't go expecting it to be a Cloverfield sequel. It has the name Clover. Just imagine it's called like Bunker. If the movie was called Bunker, people would have, people maybe would have still saw it. It probably wouldn't have got the numbers it did. I don't know what it got, but uh, 
I feel like Bad Robot, the company, the, the studio behind Cloverfield, just kind of was like, this movie's kind of slow. We'll give you the name of one of our prestigious movies so you can bump up both sales a little bit. So, yeah, I feel like that was a little cheap. It should have been called something like Bunker. I feel like that would have been a great movie for the, a great name for the movie because I wouldn't be left so damn dissatisfied. So, that's it. Gaz out. Have a nice day.